Welcome to Haraway Community School in Andover. In this video prospectus, we hope to give you a flavour of the school, the subjects that are taught, and the activities that the students can participate in. But first, let's hear from our head teacher, Michael Serridge. Well, our school motto is learning for life, success for all. And at Harrow Way, we want all our students to be successful. We also want them to enjoy their learning and also achieve their very best. So in, in 2013, we were judged good in all areas with our Ofsted inspection. And that meant in all areas of achievement, um, of teaching, of behaviour and safety and of leadership and management, we were graded good. Our challenge now as a school, and it's something we are passionate about, is moving to outstanding. Well, parents have in entrusted us with what I think is one of the most important and rewarding jobs in the world, that of the education and, and welfare of their children. My passion is what happens in the classroom day in, day out. And my role is head teacher, and I very much embrace that about developing teaching and learning at my school. School is more than just getting good GCSE grades. Um, we passionately believe that we want to um, have our students leaving as good citizens. So we want them to be polite, we want them to be considerate, we want them to be able to cooperate with others so they can play an important part in society once they leave us. As the school now comes to life, Let's begin our tour with the core subjects. English, which embraces film and media studies, maths and science, and then on to modern foreign languages. The ethos within the department at Haraway School is to encourage the students to uh, develop a love of reading. Uh, that in turn will help them to become better writers. In Key Stage 3 we use uh, reading books to inform all of our teaching. A lot of the teaching in history is based around the enjoyment of reading and a love of reading. The students will develop a greater understanding of vocabulary and language uh, the more they read. We introduced Shakespeare in Key Stage 3 uh, during Year 7. The students study Macbeth and in Year 8 I mean, Summer Night's Dream and The Tempest. At Key Stage 4, which begins during Year 9 at Haraway School, we uh, focus our attention on the skills required to achieve success at GCSE level. In Year 10, the students will study for and sit their GCSE English Literature exam, which in Year 11 gives them plenty of time to study for GCSE English Language and Media Studies. One of our great successes has been a, the introduction of a paired reading programme, which Year 7 and Year 8 students read with senior students from the school. And this has resulted in a dramatic increase in their reading age and abilities. What's a halter? It's part of a horse's bridle that you lead them with. The English department has been delighted with our exam results, which this year saw 84% of our students achieve an A star to C grade in English language. In this day and age, students are bombarded by uh, the media and in media and film studies, this, uh, we teach them how to interpret this and understand the messages that they are being given. In Key Stage 3, we look at the history of cinema and we look at how it came about and who started it. And we move all the way through to modern day cinema and the blockbuster. Then we give students the opportunity to film their own projects um, and projects. And then we look at the music industry. So we try and cover a full range of film, television and music. So in Key Stage 4, we focus on, in Year 10, we focus on their coursework, which in Media and Film Studies enables them to create products as well as analysing. So we do film posters, we do film magazines, we look at the character of Batman and genres, and um, we focus on particular films and particular scenes in films. And then in Year 11, we prepare for their exams, which changes every year, so it can be a range of topics from superheroes to horror films, to magazines, to advertising in general, to particular television programmes. I chose media because I wanted to understand the world around me because it's everywhere nowadays, you know, the press, the news, the TV. And the lessons at Howe have helped me to understand how the media manipulates our emotions and feelings. Times by two to the power of three. Can I ask you to write on your mini whiteboard? We want every student coming to the maths department to enjoy the subject engage in the work and feel happy about their progress. 
In key stage three, we want the students to acquire the knowledge that they need for the later key stage, but at the same time, we want to make the work practical and interesting to them. Uh, we cover a full range of topics that they need for GC in preparation for their GCSE. Um, and we've got now some new elements like functional skills elements, which hopefully make the work more practical and more interesting for the students. In key stage four, there's a lot of hard work, but we want to make sure that every student is taught in the best possible way and prepared for GCSE exams in the best possible way. And I think that makes a difference. One, two, three. Let me see the answers. Okay, Harry, why do you, why do you think it's two to the power of eight? Um, because I added the five and the three together, because it's a times question. Thank you. Every student is welcome to have extra support in the department, and we've got a range of things that help us do that. We've got one-to-one -one sessions in the morning, we've got revision sessions in the afternoon, and every teacher is open to give extra help to any student that may ask for it. Science is a core subject. At Harrow Way, we try to relate the basic principles of science to everyday life, to dispel the mysteries and install a passion for science. At Key Stage 3, we try to give the students skills that they need for GCSE. We include a mixture of practical skills, literacy and numeracy skills. A lot of the skills are transferable to everyday life, such as analysing data, providing evidence and making conclusions. At Key Stage 4, we offer a variety of subjects. For the gifted and talented, we offer separate sciences, biology, physics and chemistry. We also offer um, double science and also a BTEC science um, for those students that are much better at doing coursework. Bienvenue dans le département de langue. Dans le département de langue de Haraway, il y a quatre professeurs. Moi, Mademoiselle Machu, il y a aussi un très bon professeur d'espagnol, Madame Bagnard, et aussi Monsieur Warren. Je pense que ce qui est très important pour nous, c'est de donner le goût des langues pour les langues. Uh, so we want them to enjoy the lessons, but also um, do a lot of group discussion and keep the lessons as, li as lively as we can. And group talk at the moment is a big thing in my department. We like to develop group discussions a lot. In Key Stage 3, uh, we want our students to acquire essential skills to help them develop a solid learning. In Key Stage 4, we are going more in depth and what we're expecting is detail variety of language uh, and uh, we're doing a lot of different activities to help them develop this. The care of our students is paramount and our pastoral system is organised on a year team basis. It's break time so let's eavesdrop on the year leaders as they hold a meeting. Right, end of week one then, how do you think your term has gone with your year group so far this year? I've been impressed with Uniform at the start of the year. I thought the, the drive that we've had recently on Uniform um, has really paid off. I noticed my year going into assembly yesterday looked really smart. Uh, so that's, that's one of my key sort of priorities at the start of the year. And I'm turning to now look at homework. That's a big focus for me this afternoon. Yeah, good start for me. I'm pleased with my year 10s. They've come back mature, ready, I think, to learn. They've obviously chosen their final options, so they're settled in what they're doing, which is nice. And there's a good work ethic, really good atmosphere in their lessons at the moment. So I'm really pleased. Brilliant. My year nines, are, they've had a fantastic start. I've been around and observing the groups and they've just started their GCSE options. There's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of enthusiastic pupils there. So uh, it's been a fantastic start to the term. How do you feel the year sevens have settled in? From a personal point of view, I've been really impressed at how they've just slotted in. Mm. Um, it's been pretty seamless, really, yeah, I from think primary I've to secondary. When they're moving around the school, they, they, they are very well organised and they do... Um, they do arrive at lessons on time and I, I've noticed there's a real buzz actually in the classroom when they're in those first few lessons we've had with Year 7 looking at you know, what we can do in the curriculum and certainly the top set of groups that I've taught have been very impressed with. There's a lot of, lot of very bright students there. I think, the summer, I think the summer school has helped with that a lot because I think it's given them a lot of confidence. So I've had a lot of pupils from summer school that remember me and say hello in the corridor and the fact that they've seen a few friendly faces 
I think um, mm. it's definitely encouraged them to come in with a lot more confidence. Yeah, I and think the prefects help with that process as well, don't they? They've been prefects guiding them around, very getting them job, settled, yeah. and they've been really, really professional with, with their role. And I think they've enjoyed showing the younger students around and getting them settled. And we're now at the stage that, of course, we're weaning them off, and some of them, mm. in a matter of three days, are already saying, "Do I need to meet prefects of both of them?" You can see that level of independence from them. Yeah, mm. absolutely. They're starting to become more independent. I think the Warhorse project has started off really well actually, you know, from a teaching point of view, really enjoyed settling them in with something a bit different, yep. so going on with the book. There's definitely a lot of engagement you know, with, with, with Absolutely, Warhorse. and I was amazed at how many of them had read the book they've been given, you know, it was, it's great that they're so keen and involved so early on. We work hard to ensure the transition from primary to secondary education is smooth and efficient and invite students to a number of arranged events to help make this process easy. Yeah, today is our Year 5 activity days. Um, we've got another one tomorrow where we have about 400 students coming from local primary schools, um, our feeder schools and some other schools that have requested to be involved where they come in and they um, take part in various activities throughout the day. The aim of the day is for the Year 5 students to have a taste of secondary school um, so that when they make their choices in October um, they make an informed decision um, based on what Haraway can offer. Let's now visit the humanities subjects, history, geography and religious education. History is a really popular subject um, at Haraway. We um, like to give people an idea of where they came from and their place in society. We do a lot of British history so that people can find out about their past. Um, and we think it's really important that for, for students to know about the past so that they can make sense of the, the present and their future. We also teach a lot of transferable skills, so um, analysing sources, trying to find out what they think is accurate, what's not accurate, putting together an essay, um, detailing an argument, they're all things that people can use in other, other subjects and in life as well. Key Stage 3, we have a really varied programme. Um, again, it's quite British-based, so we do um, work on medieval um, Britain, so that's quite a wide period. Um, and we also have a literacy unit in there, um, one on War Horse, which is a sort of school-wide topic, um, and we also have one on Street Child. So they read a book about Street Child, which is um, based in the 18th century, and they learn about um, what it was like for, student, for, for, for children growing up. Key Stage 4 begins in Year 9, um, so every student studies the Nazi Germany. Um, and then there's two options that they can take. They can either do Crime and Punishment, um, which looks at crime and punishment over a, you know, over a thousand years, pretty much. Um, uh, or they can take Modern World, which will be Russian Revolution uh, and America um, in, the, in the 19th, 20th century. History is a really good subject for gifted and talented students. Um, because it can really extend their thinking. Um, the skills that are involved are actually skills that I used in my degree um, and in my working life. So I think we can, the sky's the limit really. Um, we also have really good discussions. So we really get into the debate about um, did this happen, did that happen, interpretations of history. Um, so it's, it's brilliant for those. And also um, in terms of using literacy, vocabulary, um, it, it can really extend gifted and talented students, I think. My favourite topic has probably been 1940 World War II with Hitler and the Nazis in Germany. Well, it's really helped me in my essay writing skills and it's given me a better awareness of where I've come from and how cultures developed over the years. I'm going to go study A-level history. Uh, I've really enjoyed history at Haraway and I feel like it's prepared me and it's made me really enthusiastic for history. My vision for geography here at Haraway School is to instill or inspire a sense of awe and wonder about the world. Uh, at Key Stage 3 we divide the year up and we do a lot of country studies. So in Year 7 they, they look in depth at China and in Year 8 we look at Kenya and in Year, year 9 we investigate India. At Key Stage 4 we look at both human and physical geography. Human geography we investigate population, settlement and tourism. And for physical geography, we look at climate change, we look at tectonics, and we look at waste around the world. Uh, we also have a unit on geographic information systems and mapping, and the students complete a controlled assessment where they base it on fieldwork outside of the school, and they do an investigation, and they come back and they write up what they found out. This year, the geography department was thrilled to be awarded the Geographical Association Secondary Geography Quality Mark. So each year in the geography department, uh, the students go on a field trip, and year eight, 
This year went to Kew Gardens to investigate what a rainforest is like and they spent the day at the gardens in uh, Palm House looking at the different layers and the different levels of the rainforest. Um, the aims for RE through the school are to develop in open-mindedness, um, in to get students to consider their own beliefs and to consider the beliefs of others, to be able to give opinions as to why they believe what they believe um, alongside um, why they might disagree with what other people believe. In Key Stage 3 we learn about religions. In Year 8 um, students will learn about Gandhi, they will learn about Anne Frank and the Holocaust and they will also do a unit of work on Buddhism. At Key Stage 4 we do GCSE Philosophy and Ethics. Philosophy is thinking about the bigger questions in life, such as does God exist, is there life after death? Um, and then we move on to in year 11 to do ethics. And it's about getting students to be able to give a good, rigorous evaluation on what they believe about these issues, what Christians or other religions believe about these issues and being able to give um, a final analysis on whatever topic it is that we're studying. At Key Stage 4, the Philosophy and Ethics course are from a Christian perspective. At Key Stage 3, we look at a variety of religions. Mrs Delaney has been responsible for Haraway becoming a UNICEF-recognised rights-respecting school. Here she meets with representatives from her team of peer educators to discuss their work. Right, um, next week or the week after, I'm going to be having a meeting with the Year 9 students that are going to put themselves forward to be UNICEF peer educators. So what is it in particular that we've done that you would like to pass on to them? Well, I think it's definitely got to be the internet safety working with Hampshire Police because that's such an amazing thing that we've started. Yeah. And also with it being year nine, they can see it follow through like we've followed it through, if that yeah. makes sense. Can you, um, what would you, how would you explain to them, Callum, what we've done so far? So we've had a meeting with senior police officers and we've um, discussed and we've put forward presentations on cybercrime and we can also get their opinion and get them to pinpoint what they find in their year is the main main causes of cyberbullying or the main sorts of issues where it happens because our opinion will be different to their opinion. How did this come about in the first place? Well we this had our meetings with Ed Waller and he taught us some stuff and we also taught him some stuff about our personal opinions and what we already know is going on. Right, okay, so does it, how does that fit into the rights of the child, internet safety? It's actually a really big problem, cyberbullying and internet safety and it's not really explained or and Anything like by that. being bullied um, in person or being by cyber bullied, they all apply to the rights of the child because some of those rights are being broken. Absolutely, it goes against the rights of the child. So this is really going to be our big thing, isn't it? It's taking the cyber bullying forward. Mm -hmm. But of course, we've done lots of other things for the first time, uh, and this was we started off with this through the rights of the child was the trip to Ghana, which. You two went to, didn't you? And um, in particular, I'm interested in Ghana because of the right to education, because they're our partner school. Um, and I'm hoping you've got a clear picture of whether these children in Ghana have a right to education. What did you think, Caitlin? I thought that everyone there was really friendly, and they're also keen to learn that they should have the right and all the materials they need to learn because they, they want that education so much. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. It'd be great. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Have, a Have a good rest of the day. Yeah. Yep, see you next meeting. Our next stop is with the arts. Drama, dance, music and art. Haraway has a wonderful reputation for ensuring that students have an outlet for their creative energies. Drama at Haraway has two main aims. First of all, we're looking to create students who are able to go straight out and work if they need to in the professional world of theatre. We're also looking to give students skills that they might not be able to pick up elsewhere. Uh, the ability to really hit a deadline, uh, to collaborate in a short time scale with people they may not have worked with before. 
uh, but also the ability to think for themselves, to think on their feet, to be creative and independent learners. At Key Stage 3, we introduce students to the world of theatre and teach them basic stagecraft, the technical skills they need to perform on stage. Uh, but we also teach them how to explore and analyse a script. They become sort of drama detectives, looking for clues to help them to create a really detailed and, and interesting character. At Key Stage 4, the students start applying the skills that they've learnt at Key Stage 3 to a variety of projects, from scripted plays to the school musical, uh, devising work, and presentations on aspects of technical theatre and the business of theatre. One specific project we do is the simulated work experience over the October half term. We bring in a professional actor or director to work with the Year 11 students, who then get a two-week window to produce a complete Shakespeare production. There's lots of opportunities for students to perform across all the year groups. The Year 7, 8 and 9 Drama Club have their own show in the first term, right through to the school musical, which involves students from across the year, including our Year 10 and 11 performing arts students. Seven, you go. Step, hop, step, stamp, stamp. Twitch, knee, and twitch, and twitch. Round and dig, swap, swap. The aim of dance at Haraway is to encourage creativity, raise self-esteem, promote exercise and an interest in dance. Key Stage 3 dance is to um, develop key skills through certain projects. So, for example, we do a video games one, zombies or superheroes. In Key Stage 4, we study BTEC dance. Some of the units of study are contemporary dance, jazz, street dance and performing arts industry. Um, at Haraway the students have lots of opportunities to perform. The dance department puts on a yearly show that tells a story, so for example last year's was Peter Pan. They also have lots of showcases throughout the year to show their parents their talent. The aim of music at Haraway is for all students to gain an understanding of different styles and genres of music. In Key Stage 3 we study classical music including programme music and minimalism. We also study reggae and blues and music for film and television. In Key Stage 4 students study the BTEC First Award in Music which is based on the music industry. Students will prepare performances, many of which will be of their own compositions and will also be recorded using the school's own recording equipment. I chose to do music because I am a, I am obviously a guitarist and I want to further my career within music and hopefully take it on to college. Um, I chose music because I'd like to study A-level music at college and this is a good pathway to get me there. We offer instrumental lessons with peripatetic music teachers where students will have a lesson once a week. We're passionate about art at Haraway and we do our very best to provide um, a culture where the students can grow in confidence through a range of opportunities. Um, they get to use uh, materials and techniques like clay, batik, chalk, charcoal and they can even draw with tea and they will all leave with a driving licence for a sewing machine and using clay tools. Um, we like to give them a broad range of cultural and contextual and design projects um, and art movements and artists underpin everything. They'll do cubism and surrealism. They'll have a good broad knowledge by the end of uh, Key Stage 3. Um, in Key Stage 4, while well, Year 9 starts, they get the opportunity to take a GCSE entry level that they'll complete in a year. In year 10 and 11 we offer BTEC and GCSE uh, qualifications where they build on their skills and techniques. We also have uh, visiting artists um, and these can be working artists that come in and work with the students. They may bring in their work to show us and we celebrate all the wonderful artwork that's made and created in the school 
um, by uh, displays around the school. We have um, a Key Stage 4 exhibition with a private view and a catalogue. We have work that's been on show in Art in the Garden at Hillier Gardens, and the Fairground Gallery at Way Hill, and um, some Year 8 work at the end of the year will go into shops around Andover, so look out for that. In this modern age, it is important that students are taught by staff who are fully versed in the very latest technologies. Design technology is all about problem solving, um, designing to a solution in relation to a brief that's been set. Um, in Key Stage 3, we do a series of projects which relate to uh, CAD-CAM and uh, computer-aided design, which resolve in a finished article uh, it could be a small light. Um, in Key Stage 4, we work towards projects and coursework, um, again, where we are designing and making something. Way, our intention is to make ICT and computer science exciting and interesting for everybody from year 7 all the way up to year 11. In year 7 we give them a variety of activities and topics to do uh, including game making, creativity with web design and using spreadsheets to develop understanding of formulas and we mix the ICT with the computer science which is exactly what you're meant to do in the 21st century in 2014. So the students in year 7 and 8 get a real blend of all of the activities that are important to get a real understanding so that when they get into Key Stage 4 they can take a course which is interesting, suitable, exciting for them which gives them the opportunity to get a greater understanding, gives them the opportunity to learn more and also gives them the opportunity to pursue a career. There are an awful lot of careers in computing, from analyst, analytic work to programming, and this is what we intend to do for them. I've now completed a GCSE computer science and I got an A-star pass uh, at the end of year nine. I've chosen to go on with CIDA because it's a good opportunity to use industry standard uh, programs early to get used to them for future life. I'd like to go on and be a computer developer and programmer. Young people have lots of energy to run off. At Haraway, we believe that physical health is as important as exam success. We pride ourselves on giving every single student at Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 the opportunity to reach their potential. And we do that in two ways. At Key Stage 3, the students get to receive lessons focusing on a number of sports uh, to lay the foundations for them. And at Key Stage 4, they get the opportunity to develop their knowledge and understanding better by studying GCC PE, which gives them an opportunity to improve their knowledge and understanding of sports science. And underpinning all of this, we provide all students the opportunity to join a number of sporting clubs during the school year, and we cater for a number of sports from a representative point of view and have teams competing at all levels, from uh, district to county, right up to national level. Go, 
we started climbing at Haraway about three years ago now. Uh, we were lucky, lucky enough to get some, fund, some funding from Sport England and the Jamie G Trust in Andover who helped us out, uh, who helped us out getting started. Uh, we brought what was a very neglected 50-year-old wall back into service again. Uh, we've modernised it, brought it up to spec and uh, we now offer climbing to the students at Haraway. The Climbing Club is open to all students at Haraway from years 7 to 11. Um, we offer the National Indoor Climbing Award Scheme, which is a nationally recognised award which our climbers can take part in. Uh, and uh, it runs after school every week. Uh, there's, there's two levels to the National Indoor Climbing Award Scheme. Level one is uh, teaching the basics, how, how, to, how to tie into a rope, uh, the, the basic safety basics. And then level two is, uh, is slightly more advanced climbing uh, and teaching climbers to be more self-aware, uh, more individual climbers. There are actually five levels to the whole scheme. Highway offers levels one and two, and then if, 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 if students wish to carry on, they can go to a bigger climbing facility, start at level three, and, uh, and, and go from there. At the end of every school year, we've taken the regular climbing club members uh, to a much bigger wall. We've been down to Calshot uh, every year so far, uh, and everyone gets a chance of climbing on in a much bigger centre, much harder routes, uh, much better climbing. Haraway is a truly inclusive school. We recognise that some students will need additional support in order for them to achieve their full potential. The Flexible Learning Centre um, consists of a small classroom and a couple of breakout areas and we are solely here to provide support and the provision of interventions to students to help them um, get the, base, the best from their learning and get the best from their, their day in school. And head, Heads of Year can actually refer students to us during the term if they feel that an intervention is required. The maximum number that we'd have in the Flexible Learning Centre at any one time would be 10 to 12 really because we work very closely with the students in very small groups um, and on a one-to-one -one basis. Our success criteria is very, very broad really but it could be students receiving extra support during particular subjects that they may be struggling slightly with. Uh, there are many success stories and that can be um, in particular linked to attendance. Um, we have um, a lot of success with students that transfer into the school um, from year seven so during transition we do additional support with the year sevens um, and that helps them with the anxieties etc of, of coming to secondary school in the first place and even with um, exam results we have situations where students um, have actually you know can move their their grades because they have pastoral or study school support within the FLC on a one-to-one -one basis one particular student who um, was a school refuser during the, the year 11, um, we turned that around and really feel that you know they were keen to get into lessons and keen to, we monitor them obviously when they were coming into their exams, but they took their exams and have now gone on to college um, and had a good experience with the finishing, you know, finishing year 11 at Haraway. So the philosophy behind this group is to keep a small and select group that have been identified by their primary schools generally as needing extra support in that transition period coming into um, secondary school. Students experience exactly the same curriculum in this group as every other year seven student. They have specialist teachers for science and PE and some other subjects but generally they, they have me for humanities subjects, English and maths. We've often found that students coming into school at the beginning of, of the academic year in September are lacking in confidence and the really positive and good thing about students that have been in this group is that by the end of the year they are working together, they, they've proven to themselves that they have made success, found something that they're good at and they're enjoying school. Um, and so we do the team building up at Charlton Lakes. Welcome to Haraway Farm. Um, we're here as a, a support really for anybody on vocational studies. Um, the idea behind the farm is to give students the opportunity to go into animal care. We grow produce, tomatoes, garlic, that sort of thing, which then gets sold back into the school um, to staff to help support the project. 
from working out on the farm, um, students will also gain the opportunity to work as in teams, uh, loan working. They'll work on projects that they've also designed themselves, like climbing frames for the goats. Uh, they get to choose and monitor the growth of plants, um, how it goes from a seed to the final produce, which then can be sold on. Yeah, over the past couple of years, we've had students that have come out here with no prior sort of interest or the opportunity to work with animals, for example, that have gone on to Sparshall to complete one and two year courses in animal care, for example. Life in the school continues after the students have gone home as we host a thriving community provision. We offer courses, leisure learning courses for adults and young people um, in a relaxed atmosphere, um, providing um, courses for people in the wider community. To give you some examples of courses that we run, um, we have um, the arts courses, Chinese brush painting, drawing and painting. We have dance classes for beginners, improvers and intermediates. Um, we also run fitness and fun for women, both here at Haraway and at sites in the town. We are pleased to offer courses in languages, that's in French, German and Spanish. Our courses are designed for um, adults and young people from the ages of 18 upwards. To enrol onto any of our courses, you can do it over the telephone, in person or by sending in a postal enrolment form from our prospectus. We hope you have enjoyed our video prospectus and have gained an insight into what makes the school so special. All of us in the school community are incredibly proud of Haraway. For further information please visit our website or call the school office to arrange a personal tour. We hope to see you soon. Haraway. Learning for life. Success for all.